Today we have a very special English Bites for you. We go to Mars. Well, we don't actually go to Mars, but we go somewhere that they say looks a lot like Mars. And we meet some people who would love to go there themselves. From prehistoric times, mankind has been fascinated with Mars. The closest planet to Earth has spawned countless books and movies. One of these, The Red Planet, was filmed near Cooper Pedy in 2000. And those barren landscapes are again drawing Martian devotees from around the world. This time it's the rugged hills around Arkarula. Aspects of the landscape are very Martian. Uh, we have dune fields at Arkarula and up in the Stresleki Desert. We have uh, springs, we've got big outwash fans from the creeks in the Flinders Ranges. We've got dry lake beds. Uh, and all these features uh, we have seen in images uh, of Mars from orbiters and from rovers. John Clark is a member of the Mars Society, a group of scientists from around the world devoted to putting humans on Mars. In some ways we're very close, in some ways there is probably 10 to 20 years of testing and thinking that needs to be done before we're ready to go. But we need to start thinking about it if we want to go. The work at Arkarola will build on experiments already conducted overseas. They'll be testing equipment and techniques for what is by any estimates an enormous and dangerous task. In January, when NASA landed two rovers on the planet, it took them six months to get there. It's estimated a human mission would take two and a half years in total. Once on the ground, any Mars crew would have its work cut out getting around on a planet where gravity is under half what it is on Earth, and some mountain ranges are 24 kilometres high. The expedition will be testing a new generation of spacesuits to make that easier. This new elasticised suit will be getting its first test at Arkarula. It's more like a wetsuit than the traditional spacesuit. It weighs half as much, it's a lot more flexible, and it's a lot safer. One of the main reasons why Mars creates so much interest is that it seems the planet most likely to have had life on it. Even though its average temperature is now minus 55 degrees Celsius, it used to be a lot warmer. And there's evidence there may be water there. The great scientific question is, are we alone in the universe? Travelling to Mars, exploring Mars, may answer that question. Do you hope that one day you'll be wearing one of your suits on Mars? I think, uh, I think that's the dream of all Mars Society people. So teams of Mars scientists are going to Arkarula. Arkarula is in northern South Australia, in the outback. It's a very hot, dry place in the desert. Why are they going to Arkarula? Aspects of the landscape are very Martian. He says aspects of the landscape are very Martian. Aspects are features or parts. Some parts of the landscape are very Martian. Martian here means from or like Mars. But Martian is usually a noun. A Martian is a creature from Mars. They're not real, but books and films are full of Martians. You might also hear them called aliens, creatures from outer space. But he's saying the land around Arkarula is Martian. It's like the land on Mars. We have dune fields at Arkarula and up in the Stresleki Desert. We have uh, springs, we've got big outwash fans from the creeks in the Flinders Ranges. We've got dry lake beds. Uh, and all these features uh, we have seen in images uh, of Mars from orbiters and from rovers. It has dune fields, large areas covered with dry, hot sand dunes. It has springs, small hot pools of water that come up from under the earth. And it has dry lake beds, lakes that have no water in them. He says all those features have been seen in images from Mars. Now, who was that speaking? John Clark is a member of the Mars Society, a group of scientists from around the world devoted to putting humans on Mars. He's John Clark. He's a member of the Mars Society. That's a group of scientists from around the world devoted to putting humans on Mars. If you're devoted to something, you're loyal or dedicated. You do it all the time. The Mars Society members work very hard trying to get people to visit Mars. 
In January, when NASA landed two rovers on the planet, it took them six months to get there. In January, NASA landed two rovers on the planet. NASA, the United States Space Organization, sent two rovers to Mars. Rovers are machines designed to move around the planet, sending information back to scientists on Earth. It took the machines six months to get there. How long would it take people to get to Mars? It's estimated a human mission would take two and a half years in total. It's estimated or guessed a human mission would take two and a half years. A mission is a group of people sent to do a certain task. Here, the mission would be to go to Mars, and scientists are guessing it would take about two and a half years just to get there. And who knows if they'd ever get back. Why do people want to go to Mars? The great scientific question is, are we alone in the universe? Travelling to Mars, exploring Mars, may answer that question. He says that the great scientific question is, are we alone in the universe? Are there any other creatures living on other planets? But before we think about that, let's look at some of these space words. Space is the name given to everything outside of the Earth. You'll sometimes hear it called outer space. In space, you'll find moons, planets, suns and stars. These are in solar systems, groups of planets around a sun. Then there are galaxies. They're groups of solar systems. And all the galaxies together are called the universe. That's all of space. It's also called the cosmos. The Earth's galaxy is called the Milky Way. OK, so Mars is in our solar system. When people go there, they'll have to wear very special suits so they can breathe and move around. They've been testing the new suits at Akarula. Do you hope that one day you'll be wearing one of your suits on Mars? I think, uh, I think that's the dream of all Mars Society people. He says that going to Mars is the dream of all Mars Society people. They all hope that one day they'll be going to Mars themselves. They're really devoted. And if you're devoted to learning English, you can find lots of help on our website. You can watch today's story and learn all about galaxies, the universe and space. <laughs>